Hi guys, Alan Salmon here and I've got a really quick lesson for you on the subject of rhythm playing. What we're going to do is learn how to play a lick, then we're going to break it down and talk about some of the things that you might like to think about when you're playing rhythm. Three, four... <laughs> first part of this lick starts on a B7, which is up here on the 11th fret. And we slide that upper semitone into a C7. Next we play an F triad, which is with one finger, D, G and B strings on the 10th fret. And then same thing, but down a tone. And then we're going to add on this little hammer on, which is on the G string. After that we just add a little single note line which starts here on the 8th fret of the D string. Next we repeat the same chord cycle, except this time instead of playing our single note line we're going to go down the bottom of the neck here and play a C9. So that's 3rd fret, 2nd fret and then 3rd fret, 3rd fret, 3rd fret. 3, 4... A nice thing to think about when you're playing rhythm is your strumming hand and how steady you can be. The idea is that you're not speeding up, you're not slowing down, you're just maintaining this very steady groove. Try practicing only your strumming hand and concentrating on feeling where those downbeats are. One, two, three, four, one, two. A nice tip for playing this lick is when you're trying to play the slide from the B7 up to the C7, it really helps to have as little pressure on the string as you can. You could practice sliding backwards and forwards between those two chords. Another tip for becoming a great rhythm player is to listen to as many good drummers as you can. People like Bernard Purdy, J.R. Robinson, Steve Gadd, Steve Jordan, Steve Ferroni, Vinnie Colaiuta. All of these guys are absolute monster groove players, so it's really worth checking them out and listening to the subtleties in their playing and try and fit that into your playing too. Another thing to consider is the type of strings you use. Now these are Elix's OptiWeb strings, and I can say from experience they do a really good job of kind of keeping out of your way when you're trying to play. They just let you get on with what you're trying to do. I'm sure you've all experienced trying to play slides, especially sliding whole chords, on strings that aren't fresh. You know, there's a stickiness to them. It just kind of gets in your way and it feels like you're playing through treacle or something. But with these OptiWebs, there's none of that. Even after six, seven, eight gigs, they still sound and feel really fresh. So I really recommend you give them a go. That's all from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you next time.